Welcome to the lesson, The Chocolate Bars, Part 1. The goal of the lesson is to introduce the formula for calculating the area of a right triangle. There is a way to teach this topic relatively quickly. With the scribble tool, we can draw a triangle where the length of this side is 3 and this one is 2. This area can be calculated by placing this triangle into a rectangle like this. We know how to calculate this rectangle. We multiply 3 by 2. Since this diagonal cuts the rectangle into two identical triangles, we divide the 6 into 2 and get 3. And since this method works for every right triangle, we have a formula. We multiply the length of the two legs and divide the result by 2. But this lesson offers a richer process for teaching the topic. The lesson is wrapped in a story. In its sequence, there are tasks that will enable the students to discover this method gradually on their own, as well as develop their creativity. Let's go ahead and start and read the story to the students. Dan's mother came home one day with three bars of chocolate. She gave Dan two different strawberry chocolate bars and asked him to find out which of them has a larger area. What do you think? Hold a discussion in class and see what the students think. They can use the scribble tool to express their ideas. For example, to cut this trapezoid here and here. And so we have a rectangle of 1 by 2 and two small triangles. The students will not need a general formula to calculate the area of this triangle. They can see that it's half of a square. So we have the area of 2 plus half plus half, which gives us 3. And here the same thing can be done. And so the areas are both equal to 3. Now let's click a long click on the scribble tool to erase the scribbles. If you want to use the tools of the app, you can click the Cut tool, click here, and then double-click here. This cuts the triangle off, and then you can place it here. And here we also see that the area is 3. In the course of this tutorial, we will point out places where you can use these tools effectively, though you will always have the option to simply use the Scribble tool. Let's continue and see the solution. And we continue reading in class. After thinking about the question, Dan said, No bar is bigger. They both have the area of three square units. And we see the two plus half plus half. The story continues. Very good, said Dan's mother, and gave him an orange chocolate bar. Is the orange chocolate bar bigger, smaller, or the same as the strawberry bars? Dan was a little confused. Can you help him? This question is on a different level than the previous one. We're still aiming at the idea of cutting the bar over here, but this time, this triangle is part of a rectangle. Give the students time to think and present solutions. One solution that a student could give is to cut this part here and to imagine it moving over here. And then we see that this triangle has the area of one square unit. This is not the direction we are aiming at, but of course, praise the student who comes up with it. The cutting tool can also be used to illustrate this solution. We'll click a long click on the scribble tool. Now we click the cutting tool and click here. We can only click on intersections, so we double click here and we have the cut. Now we can separate the triangle. We now click the rotation mode and click the small triangle. Click it once, and the triangle rotates clockwise while stopping each time one of the sides is vertical or horizontal. We click until we get the correct orientation. We go into drag mode and connect the piece like this, and we can see the area is indeed three. Let's go ahead and click Undo. Hopefully, the students will come up with the next solution. But if not, you can give this hint. Draw a rectangle around this triangle 
and hopefully the students will see that the triangle is half the area of this rectangle. The area of the rectangle is 2, so half of it is 1. Also, here we can use the tools of the app. A long click on the scribble tool, and cut this triangle off. To duplicate the shape, we drag with the control key down. We created another triangle. Now rotate mode and rotate it until we can place it like this. And we see that this triangle is half of this whole rectangle with an area of two. And we'll continue to the solution. And to the summary so far. So far, we saw three different shapes that all have an area of three. We'll continue. You probably don't know, but Dan's mother works in the chocolate factory. She now explains to Dan the reason for her questions. We need to design many chocolate bars with an area of three square units different from the three bars I have just shown you. Can you help us? And we reach the student worksheet. Designing different chocolate bars with an area of three square units. This is the student worksheet. The students have six areas to try to draw six different shapes of chocolate bars that will all also have an area of three. And soon it will be very clear what we meant when we talked about earlier about developing creativity. So we expect to see some students who will create various versions of the strawberry chocolate or various versions of this orange chocolate, and some may develop ideas with a higher level of creativity. You may photograph different solutions with your phone and send them to yourself by email or any other way to present them in this way to the class. Alternatively, the students can simply draw them on the board, and here on the next page, the students can draw their solutions. They can present the solution with a scribble tool like this, for example. And if the board becomes cluttered by so many solutions, you can just clear them with a long click and the scribble button. Now we'll present different solutions that we saw. We ordered the solutions in what we believe to be an increasing level of creativity. Even so, we believe that every level of creativity is worthy of praise and encouragement. And so here are the basic solutions with three squares. And next we have solutions based on the strawberry bars. That is, one rectangle of one by two and two triangles with an area of half. And congratulate the students who thought about this idea. And next we have here shapes that are based on the orange bar. A two by one rectangle and this larger triangle. And next. Here we have shapes that only use one square unit. Now we see the idea of combining the three types of shapes that we saw. We have a square, this triangle from the orange bar with an area of one, and these smaller triangles with an area of half from the strawberry bar. This is already a very high level of creativity. And next here, we have solutions with no squares. These solutions are still based on the two types of triangles we saw so far, and they're combined in very interesting ways. It's not certain that any student will come up with these solutions, but it's still interesting to show them to them. And see the solutions we have. Next, we show solutions that are one right triangle. We can hope that maybe one of the students reached this type of solution. If a student reached one of these solutions, this means that he or she understood the idea, the general idea, of how the areas of these triangles were calculated, and the same method works with larger triangles. If these triangles are calculated as half of a rectangle, then we need to create a triangle with an area double of three, which is six. And this could be the rectangle one over six or two over three. And if a student reaches this generalization, that's amazing! So the students had an opportunity to calculate the areas of smaller triangles to create their own shapes. But this, of course, at the end is the formal goal of the lesson. Even if none of the students reach the solution, it's fine. You can present it, and on the next page, we have the solution. And the story continues. Dan's mother liked her son's suggestions. 
she now asked him the last question. What is the area of the plum chocolate bar? What do you think? Now, this is an important question. Maybe some students didn't completely understand. What we expect is that the students draw the line here. This can also be done with this line tool. We click and drag down, and now they can see that we have a rectangle with the dimensions 4 by 5, and the remaining triangle can be blocked off in a rectangle like this. The rectangle of 3 by 5, an area of 15 divided by 2, to get 7 and a half. We can see the solution over here, and we do hope the students reach this generalization. And beyond the value of this lesson in developing creativity and curiosity, understanding of the calculation of the area of a right triangle is the formal goal of the lesson. This rectangle can be dragged out and back. While dragging the rectangle out, we can see this complicated shape. We place it back, and we see how this solves the problem. And here we have the final generalization. Dan solved the last question and said to his mother, I now know how to find the area of a right triangle. It's half of an appropriate rectangle. And we can see this this time without the grid by dragging the rectangle onto the triangle. And we summarize. In this lesson, we calculated the area of a right triangle. We did so in a gradual way starting with specific triangles and gaining intuitions that show themselves to be useful in the general case. Besides this, we practice thinking outside the box and also listen to solutions of other students. That's it. We hope you enjoyed this lesson in class. Thanks for watching.